In this video I'm going to show you how to set up a job for print and cut with registration marks in Mamaki Rasterlink 6. So first I've bought in a job which is print and cut. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my general print settings. In here I'm going to actually set my crop marks or my registration marks. I normally use these ones here but a lot of people use these ones as well. I can set my mark size. And I can set my line width as well. I can also tell the printer whether I want to put my registration marks around each copy, if I have copies, or the whole job itself. And I can show how much of an offset I want to have from my job. So this is how far my registration marks are away from my job. And I can tell the search position as well. So for this one it will search all four registration marks before it starts cutting. This is the best way. Once I've done that, like always I'll go to my quality, I'd set that up. And then when I'm ready to print, I'd go to my execution tab. In here we need to choose our order. We could just press print and cut. This will print it first. It will then detect your registration marks and cut straight away. However, if we want to take this job out, if we want to laminate it and put it back in again, we just want to choose our print only. We'd then print it. We'd then put the job back in. We'd then come back to this job, select our job here. We'll go to cut and then we'd cut only. When I press cut, because there's registration marks set up, it will automatically find them for us.